What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with another Moderna update video where we'll take a look at how Moderna stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we are looking at moving into the future, and then some key pieces of news that came out that I think could push the stock in the future. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and comment down below what your thoughts on Moderna are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let me hit record and we will get right into it. First and foremost, I wanna cover the news that I was talking about um, and then we'll cover the stock from a stock analysis perspective and what we think the future could look like. So first things first, um, great news that came out. Actually, the very first news that I wanna share is that um, Moderna says that the COVID-19 vaccine immunity should stay at least a year. This is great for those of us that want the you know country to get back to normal and the world to get you know a step closer to normal um, so that's great news um, they re reiterated that they're expecting to do between 600 million and a billion doses and they're doing uh, a, a forecast of 11.7 billion um, uh, covid uh, vaccines vaccine doses in this year so um, or 11.7 billion revenue for the year based on doses. I want to make sure I said that clearly. So um, the other thing kind of based on that revenue number is that the EU seeks more Moderna COVID-19 vaccines. Um, the key thing here is that they're talking about it um, and they are currently uh, talking about the price being 25 and $37 per dose. Uh, the US actually from what I had read previously gets it for under 20. So um, this could be good for Moderna in that they could be making more money here. Of course, there's more logistical concerns um, in, the, in the US, it'd be a lot easier to get those out um, rather than getting them to the EU, but they've got a lot of partnerships going that that shouldn't be too bad of uh, a deal for them, right? So that's something that you know we could see come in in the next couple of days. And then the next thing is, I know we've talked about what happens post COVID, what, is, what are they developing? Um, so today they came out, um, or sometime over the weekend, I guess maybe, um, but I think this, yeah, this article was written today. So they're actually developing three new mRNA vaccines for seasonal flu, HIV, and Nipah virus. So this article talks a little bit more about that. Um, you know, the, the way that they were able to kind of create the COVID-19 vaccine, um, and how promising it has been in the short amount of time that they were able to produce it in. Um, has been kind of historical, right? We've not, never seen really anything like that in the speed. Um, but they they talked about you know potentially having a vaccine that could target good both the regular flu and SARS-CoV-2, the virus that leads to COVID-19. They have an HIV candidate that they're working with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on that they're expected to go into phase one this year, and then the Nipo virus um, in India, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and Singapore. Um, and what could come from that. Remember, these are still, this one's still phase one, right? So um, not necessarily saying that they can start selling vaccines anytime soon, but they're still planning for the future. They're still using this technology and applying it to other places that they think it could work. So that's great news for the stock. Overall though, great day for Moderna. It didn't look like it was gonna be like that at the beginning. We are up four and a half dollars, you guys, 4% for the day, up another half a percent. So four and a half percent for the day, over $5 gain. If we compare that to the NASDAQ, it was down one and a quarter percent. The Dow was also down 87 points, which is 0.28%, and then S&P was down 0.67%. So when you take a look at the fact that all major indexes were red, the fact that Moderna was up 4.5% just makes it that much sweeter, right? Let's take a look at the daily chart, and then we'll take a look at the overall chart. Let me hide this drawing there because it's kind of in the way. There we go. So. Um, we kind of closed here in the 112s, had a red day on Friday. I kind of shared with you guys in the previous video why I didn't think that that red day was going to be too significant for us, right? As long as we held a key level, which we did today. Um, so we were selling off, open kind of near the 111s, ran really quickly all the way up to 118s. That was really nice to see for those of us that have been waiting for that. Um, stopped a little, broke down to, came down to 115, went up, and then for you know, most of the day was above the view app, actually making a high of 12021, and then 120 acted at as, as a little bit of a resistance, came down to view app, and then closed near the 117s. Let's take a look at the daily chart since this is kind of the key thing that we are looking at here. Um, again, let me bring the drawings back for a second. What we saw was, you know, here's what I was talking about yesterday, right? I said, hey, look, this line 
If it acts as support, we're good. We are against it, but we're not below it. We need to close above this line, keep pushing up, which is what we saw today. I can readjust this line just a little bit for this to be like that. Um, really doesn't matter though, even if we keep the same, the key is that we close above this line, um, which we would have done, you know, regardless, even if the line was right there, we closed above it, um, which was great news for the stock, right? As we um, were hoping for the stock to continue pushing up. So this trend line over the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, days we've kind of started to uptrend just a little bit in many cases making a higher high higher low other than this friday right here but today we made another high and another low another higher high and a higher low excuse me so maybe we made a higher high higher low what is next for the stock again can't emphasize this enough this level needs to hold for us to keep pushing up it could have a little bit of consolidation as long as you know we're not too far below it um, but looking for this line to hold up, looking for this 55 EMA, right? Let me get rid of the drawings again for just a second. This 55 EMA held up perfectly. If you take a look at this line, one, two, three, over the past three days, we've bounced off of it really nicely. So this is kind of what I was talking about in my previous videos, where if we can capture this 55 EMA, meaning we can be above it, which the 55 EMA right now is at 112.48, then I'm hoping that anytime we go down to that 112.48 level or, you know, mid 112s, we bounce, right? We, we, we are going down, 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 down. We get to 112, boom, we bounce, which is what we've seen for the past couple of days. So that's great news. We are now above the 8 EMA as well. The 8 EMA was at 115.41. We are now pushing towards the 21 EMA that we kind of got rejected from here on uh, two days ago on Thursday, two trading days ago and today so that's the next level that i want the stock to go at from a from a from a resistance perspective i think the first level is this 120 that we had a little bit of trouble breaking today and then the 21 ema at 120.88 from a support level meaning if we drop i think we could find support at the 8 ema which is at 115.41 and then the 112.48 with the 55 ema so 8 EMA and, eight EMA and 55 EMA at 115.41 and 112.48 respectively are what I'm looking at for support. And then as a resistance, I'm looking at the 120 and then the 21 EMA, which is at 120.88 for a level of resistance. Now, if we can capture that 21 EMA, you guys, I think that that will be great news for the stock because then we'll have the 21 EMA as a good level of support. We'll have the 8 EMA as a good level of support. And if we decide to break down, we can have the 55 EMA kind of all the way down there at 112 as a good level of support. So that's what I'm watching as well as, you know, this line holding up. Hopefully we continue uptrending um, or um, either this line should hold up or the 55 EMA and the 112 should hold up. And then we can hopefully start pushing up again. I wanna see the stock push up towards 145. Um, that's gonna be kind of the next resistance levels that I wanna uh, see how it holds. If it seems pretty promising and it goes through, um, I'll hold it. If not, I'll, that's probably where I'm going to be looking to get out of the stock. I think 2021, as I've said previously, should be a great year for Moderna. So I'm really excited what it has in store. And I'm really happy that the stock is finally doing a little bit better for us. So we can, you know, get back in the green, hopefully, if we were holding from a higher purchase price. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below. Comment if you, um, you know, are holding Moderna, what your plans are. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.